Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Before I start with our today's video, I would like to thank all our viewers who have liked and subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't done it so far, please don't forget to subscribe for our new releases every week. Friends, I hope you had a wonderful uh, New Year and Christmas celebration out there with your family and friends while keeping yourself safe from COVID-19. And this is our first video in this new year 2022 um, and I will be starting this video by talking about one more variety of Peperomia which is Peperomia angulata roca verde. So now friends these Peperomia varieties, the Peperomia family and these Peperomia plant is a wide or large plant species uh, belonging to Peperaceae family with more than thousand ornamental foliage plants and this is one of them and these plants originate from the Amazon basin of South America. So now this plant as the name suggests Angulata has got these beautiful angular leaves um, which are light green when they are young and as they grow older or the leaf mature they become dark green in color like this one i'm not sure if you can see the dark green color so uh, these plants are also known as green beetle radiator plants or green beetle peperomias as well and i love these plants because of their cascading properties because how they creep down or they creep um, on the trellis and these plants are compact cute but they can really grow very bushy if they are provided with the right conditions that they need for their growth and they serve as beautiful tabletop plants um, bench top plants or you can keep them on your tea table on your dining tables and i love i love these plants and the beautiful green leaves um, these plants serve as perfect house plants because of their low maintenance and they are completely non-toxic which means they're safe for children and pets um, but still I would recommend to keep them away from children and pets. You don't want to ruin your beautiful plants um, by giving them to the children. And I'll go through the care tips throughout this uh, video. So please stay with us till the end of this video. So friends, starting with the lighting conditions. So these plants prefer uh, medium to bright indirect light so it has to be a filtered light direct sun exposure can cause the leaves to burn out it can and long time exposure to a very bright light can cause the variegations the beautiful um, variegations on these leaves to fade away so make sure you provide them with the right amount of lighting long time exposure to a low light condition can also lead to the fading of the leaves of your beautiful plant um, and um, these plants can survive beautifully in fluorescent lighting as well so you don't have to worry about the lighting that much but if you are keeping this plant in a low light condition so make sure that after a couple of days you move it to a, a brighter spot so that the plant receives at least um, five to six hours of um, bright light during the day and otherwise these plants have no complaints with lighting at all they are beautiful they're stunning striking foliage they have um, throughout winters spring summer autumn and um, regarding the soil conditions all peperomias they love to be in a pd soil they love a little bit of acidic soil and the pd soil works best for them you can add a little bit of perlite or coarse sand to uh, give that aeration and um, drainage to the soil so that it does not get compacted around the roots and uh, make sure that your pot has got enough of drainage holes underneath for the excess of water to seep through um, now when we are talking about water always i would stress on bottom watering your peperomias because the soil will soak as much water as they need and they will not over um, soak the water uh, which will help to reduce the problem of uh, developing root rot or um, underwatering your plants so um, and if you 
prefer to top water your plants, top water your peperomias, always make sure you check the soil before you water it. Stick your finger up to an inch uh, into the soil and check if the soil is moist. If you feel that the soil is moist, you can leave uh, for a couple of more days and reassess your soil. If it's dry, then go ahead and water your plant. Now when we are talking about watering, I would also discuss about the fertilizing. These plants are succulent type of plants and they do not like a lot of fertilizing. For my peperomias, I can say I have never, all my peperomias, um, you can see one variety of peperomia sunrise up there. Uh, I have never ever fertilized any of my peperomias and they do really amazing without fertilizing. They show new growth. I just make sure that I water, provide them with light and have their soil checked. That's it. I do not fertilize them and these plants do really well even if you don't fertilize. So it's not really necessary but if you still want to do it, a very weak dilution of a completely good fertilizer is just okay during the spring and summer season there is no need to fertilize during the winter and autumn uh, because the plant growth is not much during the winter and autumn season so uh, there's no need to fertilize um, but even if you don't fertilize that's okay um, regarding the pest uh, these plants are quite resistant to the pest attack but if you still see that there are some pests like fungus gnats or mealybugs or aphids or any of those nasty pests, I would suggest neem oil solution is the perfect organic pesticide that you can use for your plants. Use it as per the directions on the bottle. You can also use um, a soda bicarb. Um, uh, solution or hydrogen peroxide solution. I have left the link in the description box of how to use hydrogen peroxide to remove uh, the pests from your plants and I will also leave uh, the links about uh, the uh, care and propagation of other peperomia varieties that I've done in the past um, if you would just um, like to have a look at them um, last but not the least is propagation so the propagation basically works the same way as that of the other peperomias they can be propagated through their stem cutting they can be propagated through the leaf cutting and all you have to do is just take the cutting uh, put it in the cup of water and let the roots to come out and when the roots are well developed transfer it into the soil that's it uh, I have done a whole video on propagation of pep um, peperomias uh, I have I will leave the link you can have a look at the video with this uh, Peperomia, Peperomia roca verde, you can do the same way. What you can do is take the cutting of the stem um, and remove the lower leaves and then immerse that stem in water and when the roots develop, transfer it into the soil. So friends, this was all about Peperomia angulata roca verde. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you really liked it and do subscribe to our channel for more releases every week. And we will see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe, happy gardening, bye-bye.